All right, so uh, today's video tutorial is ch a channel to growing small account, okay? Which is the challenges um, that a lot of beginners traders actually have a lot uh, when it comes to crypto trading. And basically the truth is if you must um, actually learn to grow a smaller account, okay? You, you have to learn how to trade features. Um, you can actually do this with sport. You can do it with margin trading and the rest, but the faster means of growing your account will be in futures trading, okay? And what we are basically looking at this evening is all about futures trading, all right? That is why I had to share with you this screen right now. Um, let me zoom this out. Just to let you know that with a smaller account, if you know what you are doing, okay? I'm going to share a strategy that you can actually use to start trading here okay so this profit you are seeing here okay this profit this this is the date you see that this is a recent transaction okay this profit you are seeing here what it actually cost me to make this profit was 15 usdt that is what i used to open this trade okay you can go ahead and calculate this this is um a 20x leverage trade okay what i use is 20x leverage all right and then this is the amount of ethereum that it cost me this amount of ethereum if you, you you equate this to usdt is what because of the leverage I, I used is what um actually 15 usdt so with 15 usdt i was able to carry the trade and i made this okay and then it goes on not just it, it didn't just stop here so um in this particular trade section this is the highest that i got okay um, you see that there is another trade here, okay? This cost me a higher amount, all right? This cost me a higher amount. This was around 19 USDT, okay? And I was able to make $3. So the strategy I'm going to share with you is not to double your account immediately, but to gradually grow your small account. If you are not greedy, okay? Um, if you don't allow your emotions or your family problem to control your decision makings in the market, you can actually start with a hundred dollar, okay, and gradually grow that hundred dollar. You can imagine if you are making three three dollars per trade, okay, and then maybe you uh, you are able to carry out two three trade in a day, which is possible because what I'm showing you is on a lower time frame. You can carry two, um, you know, three four trade in a day. So if it, per trade you are making just three dollar or you are making two dollar or even a dollar. And at the end of the day, you end up making $5, you end up making $6. It will go a long way to help you and keep you going in the market, all right? So what I'm going to share with you is not um, something that will get you, you know, grow your account overnight. If for any reason the market is too good for you in a day and you're able to double your account or, you know, triple it, that is for good for you, okay? Um, but that cannot happen every now and then as you can see i i use the lower amount and i made more money than when i use the higher amount it all depends on the conditions of the market because why i'm actually emphasizing on this is at the end of the day uh the questions i will get is will i uh, how much should i be expecting if i start with hundred dollars every day i cannot categorically tell you that this is how much you should be expecting at times i make ten dollars at times i make three dollars at times i make if I don't want to lose money at all, I just make one dollar and I exit the market in a day. It is very possible, okay? Even if you are starting with a thousand uh, dollars and the rest, it is very possible. If you are not greedy, just make the smaller amount of money and leave the market because the crypto market doesn't run away. It is always there for you to always come back and trade, okay? So for you to be able to do this, I'm just going to show you a simple strategy that I use to scalp the market, okay? Using trading view. All right, and then for you to be able to implement this, you need a legit and genuine crypto trading exchange, okay? You can do this using BitGet Exchange, which is, you know, the screenshot I, I'm sharing with you right now. These are from BitGet because it's BitGet I've been trading with right um, recently, okay? And one beautiful thing about BitGet is that you can copy traders, um, you know, just following if you know what you're doing. If you have a larger capital, you can actually copy traders and, you know, um, start profiting from, professionals, traders, you know, uh, what they do in the market. Else, just use the strategy I'm, I'm sharing with you. You can use it on BitGet, you can use it on Binance, okay? So whichever exchange you have, you can implement this and it will work for you, 
All right, so to be able to do this, you need a trading via account. If you don't have an account, you can check the video description, okay, to get an account for yourself. And then you need an account with exchanges, exchanges like BitGet or um, Binance or Bybit, all right? So I will just go ahead and uh, remove all indicators from my charts, okay? This is my chart, this is what it looks like, and then we'll go ahead and add the indicators, okay? All right. So um, if I go ahead and add indicator, to add your indicator, this is where the indicator is, okay? You just come in, okay, this is blocking my screen. Um, if you can see my mouse, okay, this is where the indicator is. If I click on indicator, all I just need to do is the first indicator that I need to add it, that I use is called optimize trend tracker, okay? This is the indicator and then is by this, um, given uh, whatever the name is, this is the indicator is already on my favorite. So I just click on it and add that to my chart. Okay, by default, this is just the singular indicator that we're going to use, okay, and uh, to actually carry out this trade. And what I normally do is when I put in this indicator, you see, this is how the indicator looks like. So I'll go to the setting of that indicator, go to settings, okay. So once I come to setting, I'll come to the input and then change the OTTP period, okay? Um, the OTT period, I'll change it to seven, all right? Once I change it to seven by default, these are the ones that are checked. You see this one that says show OTT color change signals. Okay, you go ahead and turn that on. And then for the moving average, the moving average, what I have here is the VAR. So select the VAR and change it to WMA, okay? Change it from VAR to WMA. Now, the reason why I use the WMA is that, uh, you know, the WMA gives me more um, weight to current data, all right, as compared to either the EMA, the SMA, or the VAR, okay? So um, it, it deals with current data and the rest. So that, that's why I had, uh, you know, I like using that. That is the only thing you have to do. Changes, okay, the OTT period to seven, all right, leave the remaining as this, check this, show OTT color change, and then from the moving average, just changes to WMA and click OK, all right? This is the singular indicator you are going to use. Now, here you see there, there is a blue line and then there is a, a purple line. Um, in all of the three, this purple line serves as, you know, it can either serve as a resistant, okay, and then it sells as a support, all right? So whenever these candlesticks are trading above the purple line, the purple line sells as a support. You see that the price will go, okay? And then return back to the purple line and then bounce up again. The same thing happens when it flipped over, okay? When these candlesticks are trading lower um, below this, um, below the, the purple line, okay? So how do we use this indicator? If I go ahead and put this on a, a, a full screen, okay? How we use this indicator is very simple, okay? Here you see there are a lot of buy and sell signals that are showing up in the, in, the, in the chart. You don't need to follow all of these buy and sell signals, okay? The only buy signals that are legit, that I've tried that, okay, that has worked for me that you need to follow is whenever you see a buy signal here, Okay, and then this blue line, okay, is crossing over the purple line. That is the kind of buy signal you need to take, all right? So you see here, okay, we received the buy signal here, and then this candle actually traded above this, uh, okay, with the purple line, uh, the um, blue line actually crossed over the purple line. So these are the signals you take. Any other signal that doesn't show this, okay, you don't take the signal, okay? If you have ignored this signal, there's another one here. There's another buy signal here. You see that the blue line actually crosses over the purple line. And you can see, you can write this trend, okay? And follow up this trend. Aside this, any other buy signal here, you don't take it. The only buy signal you take is whenever the blue line crosses over the purple line, okay? The same thing happens if you are taking um, a sell signal, okay? So if we look for an opportunity to short the market, it will always be whenever you see a sell signal, okay? Whenever you see a sell signal here, and then the blue line is trading below or crossing over the, the purple line trading below, that is the kind of signal you will take, all right? 
those are the kinds of signals you take. These are legit signals that, you know, they are not false signals. So you must always wait for a crossover, just like what you're saying here, okay? You must always wait for a crossover whenever you get a buy signal. The blue line must be crossing over the, 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 the purple line before you can take that trade. Okay, the same thing happens if you are going to take a sell signal. Okay, the blue line here must be crossing below, okay, the purple line before you can take that signal. So if you check all of these signals, you see that even if your target is to make 1% or 1.5%, okay, of whatever you are risking in the market, it will all play out. Okay, it will all play out. Now, um, if you want to furthermore confirm this signal, okay? Another indicator that I use, if I uh, leave this um, full screen, another indicator that I use to confirm my signals is called, um, if I go to the indicator, I'll just go ahead and add the QQE indicator, the QQE mod indicator, okay? By this person, okay? Just take note of this indicator. So I go ahead and click on it and add it up to the chart. This is what the QQE looks like, okay? If I go ahead and zoom this, but first I'll go ahead and to the setting. And the only thing you need to do on the setting is you come to the style and then up, take off, check off this um, QQE line, okay? Which is this white line you're seeing here. Check it off, okay? That is the only thing I need to do. This is how the QQE indicator looks like, okay? And then it shows you when, you know, it follows real trend in the market, okay? It is a momentum based indicator that can be used to identify when the market is actually trending or ranging, okay? So when you see these candlesticks, um, if I bring my drawing to, when you see this blue candlestick trading above this zero line, okay? There is a zero line dividing um, the blue candlesticks and then the red candlesticks, okay? When you see this, okay, and the volume keep increasing, it means that the market is actually uh, in an uptrend, okay? The market is bullish, so you need to follow this trend you know, to, um, you know, long or buy, okay? Then if you see the candlesticks red, okay, trading below, you need to actually follow the trend and short the market. Now, how do you use this indicator with um, the optimized trend tracker, okay? Here, you can see, okay, this is a pure confirmation of what I'm talking about, okay? We got a buy signal here, and then the blue line crosses over the purple line. And then there is a, a green candle forming here, okay? So once this green candle form, follow this trend and you see that you would have ride this trend up to this moment, okay? Or here or there about, or this place. It depends on how patient you are with the market, okay? Now, what a QQE indicator does is that whenever the market wants to change direction, when the market wants to change direction, you will always see the candle changing color, okay? So from green, it will change to this gray color. All right, telling you that the market is about to change color, um, to change direction. The same thing happens, okay? You see here, it just tells you that the market is about to change direction. And what happened? We got a sell signal here. Then the um, blue line actually crosses over the purple line. And here you would have waited until this confirmation, okay, of red candle with, on the QQE actually appears, okay? When this appears, you would have taken this trade and then you would have followed the trend and this would have ended up in profit as well, okay? Let's say um, we actually took this trade here, okay? So if I bring in this long position to, we enter this trade somewhere around there, okay? And then we bring this um, somewhere, okay? Always put your stop loss in the previous um, swing low, okay? So I would have just, yeah, somewhere around there. So now when I put my stop loss here, what I have to do is to target either two or 1.5% of what I'm risking, okay? The 1.5% is, this is what you are, you are looking at when you are using this tool, okay? You see that the risk reward ratio here is 1.55. Okay, this 1.55 you are seeing there, it means that whatsoever the risk is, this is going to be your stop loss. This is where you are going to put your stop loss, this price here, okay? And then this is going to be your entry. All right, and then the take profit will be this of um, this green price you're seeing here. All right, so when you use your risk reward ratio as 1.5 percent, it means that whatsoever you are risking here, you are going to make 1.5 percent of that amount. Okay, if this trade goes in your profit, and as you can see, this trade actually 
um, you know, went into profit, which is a good one. All right. This is a very simple uh, indicator that is easy for beginners to understand that I use, okay, to scalp the crypto market when it comes to futures trading. Anybody can use this. All you just need to do is understand this, all right? And the beautiful thing is that you can actually use this with a mobile app. For those of you who don't have access to a desktop or a laptop, okay, you can do this on your app. You can do this on your app. Most of the times that I take trade, is I just open my trading view on my phone, okay? All I'm looking for is this confirmation, okay? This confirmation, all right? If I get this confirmation, I'll go ahead and take a trade. And in most cases, it works in my favor, all right? It goes in my favor and it makes me profit. That is basically all I have to share with you this evening. I hope you've learned something. I want people to implement this, okay? Because I'm tired of answering questions like, if I start futures trading with $100, how much will I make a day? I cannot categorically tell you how much you can make a day. All right? I can't categorically tell you. But you can start your futures trading with $10, $20, $30. If you know what you are doing, you will be able to follow the trend of the market and always make profit. Okay? You always follow the trend of the market. Please don't be greedy and don't use higher leverage. Okay, don't be greedy, don't use higher leverage. Okay, anything between 1x leverage to at most 20x leverage. Okay, at most 20x leverage that we do. Okay, and carry you for a trade. All right, that is all I have for you this evening. If you have a question, you can raise up your hand. Okay, and then unmute yourself. You can use the chat, you can raise up your hand, unmute yourself, and ask your questions. All right, so. Is anyone hearing me? Yes, I am clearly. All right, thank you, Tony. Hmm. I don't know if you can make this um, recording available for us. It's very, very useful. All right, I will. I will make that available. All right, thank you. You're welcome.